What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Marvel Legends, Captain America Civil War, Iron Man, the Mark 46 armor. He is part of the Giant Man Build-A-Figure series. We do have Iron Man here in the packaging. You can see he does come with an alternate set of hands, repulsor, bla repulsor effects I should say, the arm to Giant Man. On the side we have an image of the Mark 46, and on this side the exact same image. On the back we do have a picture of the figure and a little bio that says, Iron Man takes off into battle with indestructible armor and a first in class combat technology. Other figures of this line do include Captain America, Iron Man, Black Panther which we've already had a look at, Marvel's Nuke, Nick Fury, and Red Guardian. All six of these figures combine to make your giant man build a figure. So really happy I have this guy. What I'm going to do now is take a little break, get him opened up, and then we'll go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight, everyone. And here we have Iron Man posing out of the packaging. Before we get on to the figure, let's actually show his build-a-figure piece off. He does come with the right arm of giant man, so if you want to complete giant man, you're going to have to get him, because without Iron Man... Giant Man's missing an arm, and I don't think Giant Man was missing an arm in the movie. I might be mistaken, but I highly doubt he was. But let's take a look at Iron Man now, moving on to the accessories he did come with. As you can see, he has one open hand and one closed fist. He does come with two sets of hands. Let's actually zoom in on his hands really fast. <coughs> We do get one fist hand and or two fist hands, one for the left, one for the right, and then two open palm hands. So you can get him in flight poses and repulsive blast poses. So that's really cool. He also does come with two repulsor effects. Uh, much like the three pack Iron Man, they're the exact same sculpt. However, these ones are actually frosted. They're just not the blue paint or the blue translucent plastic these actually have like a white frosting on them not sure we can see that but he does come with two my only complaint is that he only comes with two now a lot of people would say well at least that's something it is something but you really can't have him flying cuz you're gonna have to tap both of them into his feet and then he has nothing on his hands so it looks a little strange. I mean, you probably could do this and that looks even stranger because he now has one boot and one repulsor activated. Or you can just have them as effects like that and you can see it does work nicely. Let's actually pull this hand off. The hands do come off easy enough and you can just interchange them as you please. Just showing you what he looks like with both repulsive blasts in his hands. So that's a really cool feature for Iron Man. Let's get these out of his hands. So we can take a closer look at the Mark 46 here. I'm not going to lie, this is probably my favorite Iron Man armor to date that they have made in the Marvel movies. I probably said that with a 3-pack, but I'm just reinforcing it. This is a really nice armor for Iron Man. It has bulk to it. It's not like the other armors, which are kind of skinny. It doesn't look like somebody's actually in that suit. This one, it has some bulk to it, so it does give that illusion that Tony Stark is actually wearing this suit. So let's actually zoom in on the face here. Okay, there we go. You can see they did a really good job sculpting the face, and it's going to get out of focus right now. Really loving that gold along the really cherry red that he has. I really do like the shade of red that they used for this plastic. His arc reactors right there. I'm going to say there are some errors on mine when it comes to paint. Uh, let's actually, you can see there's some scraping right there. On the back we have some mismatched gold there. Where else was there a mistake? Oh yeah, this is probably the biggest mistake on mine. You can see how he has some silver paint here and right here on his thigh. Turning him around. 
And that paint is nowhere to be found. It's just the red plastic and then the gold paint. Kind of sucks, but it's not a deal breaker for me. I wish I had noticed that more in the packaging. But still, a lot of good details. But I feel like the details get lost on Iron Man because there's no panel lining to him. If there was some panel lining to him, some of these lines would definitely pop more. But unfortunately, unfortunately, they don't. And that's kind of a disappointment. Okay, let's actually move the camera out now. So we can get a quick comparison between Iron Man the Mark 46 and the Bell Damage 3 pack, so let's get him posed. So here we have both Mark 46's, is it 46? I can't remember, but yeah, the Mark 46 posed next to each other. Here's the Bell Damage one, and here's the non Bell Damage one. Honestly, I like the shade of red that's on this one. This one, I didn't notice it until putting them side by side, but this is a much darker red. But it does fit the battle theme that maybe the armor just got darkened up and it's dirtier than this one, so I guess I can let it slide. But no sculpting differences, but I do feel like his legs function a little better than his, and I'm not sure if that's just me or other people have noticed that. But let's move him off so we can go on to Iron Man's articulation. He does have that ball hinge in the head, so you can see he has a ball joint. Yes, the Tony Stark head will fit on this Iron Man too. So you can have him holding the helmet or you can just keep it on. And you saw that it does have a hinge there. So we do get some up and down movement on the ball joint itself, left and right. And then we have the hinge which can look up and down really well. Arms on a ball joint don't go any further than this because the armor actually hinders any movement past that. And same for going out. You can do a full 360. Little stiff, but it does kind of get caught. His armor does get caught, so be aware that when you're doing the 360 that the armor might get caught up there. He has a bicep swivel. Double jointed in the elbow. So you get pretty decent range on that. Both sets of hands have a hinge, so you, we do get that up and down hinge. And then spins. He has that torso joint, which you can move it. You can pivot it side to side, crunch it forward and back, spin. So get a lot of good posing here out of Iron Man. And you can see it does hinge forward quite a bit. And hinge back a little bit. Legs don't go any further than this because of the way it's sculpted and they don't go further back than that legs only go out to about that far and it doesn't look like they want to move it kind of like forces themselves back into position if you have both of them out see it there's like no give right there right there is fine but having them both out it does feel like there's some tension that presses the legs back together he does have a thigh swivel, double jointed in the knee, so that's pretty good there. He does have a hinge in the ankle, which goes that far back, that far forward, and then we do get a pivot right here. So all the articulation you'd expect from Marvel Legends, it's actually up to par with Marvel Legends these days. So what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get him posed for my final thoughts, then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Iron Man posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like this figure. There are some issues with the paint that I have. Some spots of it are exactly that. They're spotty. Some of it, it's bleeding. And then as you saw in mine, he is missing the silver paint right here on the side. But it's not a deal breaker. I still love this armor. I think he would have benefited from more paint, some more silver, maybe some more gold. Because there's a lot of red on here. And I think they could have added some silver accents right in between here. Like, there's a lot of spaces on the back of them that could have had some paint, but overall, I still really like this figure. Now, I found him at Kmart, and at the time I'm making this video, Kmart has a sale on these guys. Uh, buy one, get one 50% off. That's a really good deal, especially for the Marvel Legends figure, seeing as how they're running in upwards of $20. So I basically paid 30 for him and Cap. If you can find these guys in stores, definitely pick them up if you don't already have them. I know I'm a little late getting them, but 
Well, I got lazy on these guys, and now it's harder to find Cap and Iron Man in my area. But if you do find them, definitely check them out. They're worth it. If you have the two-pack Iron Man, or the three-pack Iron Man, whoops, I just knocked them over. You're still going to want to have this one in your collection, because you can have this one with the Hall of Armor, and then you can have this one battling Captain America. So with that being said, I'm King of Dragons 5000 saying don't forget to like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other Marvel Legends figures. All my other reviews are also up, so if you want to check those out, be my guest. If there's a figure you guys would like to see me review, just let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my best to add it to my collection if there's a spot to it. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone. My dreams are